We are back with more My Southern Home, and I'm here with Nicole Carver with Carver Concierge. And Nicole, thanks for joining us again. Always a pleasure, Kimberly. Thanks for having me. So one of the wonderful things that I love so much about your company is how much you give back to the community in both the Nashville and the Tampa market. Well, we do that by working with local service providers. We love to work with small business owners, whether they're general contractors, handymen, um, housekeepers, whatever that looks like, rather than going directly to a national business. The reason we do that is we build great partner relationships. We don't take any money in return for working with them, but we've built relationships with them. We know they are licensed, they're insured. We've done good business with them. They show up for us, and it's our way of putting hundreds of thousands of dollars back into the local economy every year by working with local people. So with your concierge service, you basically act as their right-hand woman in various projects with their home. We do. Sometimes we've been jokingly called a wife for the wife, which I think is a huge <laughs> compliment, right? Um, you get to bring us in. You work with one individual concierge, so they always know your likes, your wants, your needs, and we oversee everything from the real simple things of everyday errands that are on people's to-do list that just back up, scheduling doctor's appointments, getting car service. But um, in the past year and since COVID, people have really looked around at their homes and, as you know, decided they want to take on new projects, but they don't have the time. So we're that person who can get the estimates, bring people in, narrow it down to what they're looking for, and then we project manage it too. So we work with the contractors, the vendors to make sure everything's running on time, and we're on site so that the, the client doesn't have to take time off from work to be there. So we do it all. Well, vetting contractors is a really big task, which I know firsthand because I look into everyone that's on my southern home and some things will happen and you can't control absolutely but you really take time and care in every person that you bring into a client's home we do and we have had some mishaps but the difference in when those happen is also how you recover from them and because we have such great relationships with our partner providers they want to not only make it right for our client they want to make it right for us so when a misstep happens, everybody's on it. But yes, we, it's, I think it's all about building good relationships. It's a real give and take, it's an easy flow. They know that when they're working with us, they're not waiting for the client to get done work or getting behind in their project waiting for answers. We keep that flowing along. So it's a huge benefit to build those relationships. Well, and you meet the client where they are too. Correct. Yes, we meet them at their home, we meet them at their office, and we meet them wherever and at what level they're at their projects or scope of projects or how big their list is, wherever it is. It isn't like backtracking and starting over. We just took on a new client. They've had home projects going on for the last year and they're ready to tap out. They're like, we don't wanna be a part of this anymore. Here you go, take it all. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had you in the Louisville, Kentucky market. <laughs> well, I hear you have some great concierge in the we Louisville, do. Kentucky we market do. as well. Um, concierge are growing, um, the industry is growing, we are global. And that's one of the best things about what we do. I have a lot of connections, both through the collaborative that I've built and through national associations where we can connect with other concierge in other areas when our clients are traveling to and from. Well, thank you so much, Nicole. I always love having you on the show. Oh, well, thanks. I love being here. We'll be back with more of My Southern Home in just a moment.